Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Friends, today we are going to learn a topic called that's called plowback ratio. Now, this particular ratio is basically an indicator of the quantum of the profit that has been retained in a business instead of being paid out to the investors. So it, it is also referred to as the retention ratio also or, or you can you can call as plowback and generally it represents you know the portion of the retained earnings the that that has been you know which could have been distributed in the form of dividends like for instance a firm is having a plowback of let's say 1.5 percent it indicates very less or no dividend has been paid and most of the profits have been retained for for the business expansion now what we note from the what we note from this above graph which shows amazon colgate and uh, we have google we see that uh, amazon google have a, have a plowback ratio of 100% and they retain 100% of the profit for reinvestment. Whereas, you know, if you see for Colgate, Colgate's plowback is just standing at 38.22% in 2016. So let's understand the plowback formula, the ratio which is uh, exactly the opposite of the dividend payout ratio. So the you can say the plowback ratio can be computed something like this is equal to your annual dividend per share divide by your earning per share so this is going to be your formula for your annual for your plowback ratio now let's assume that uh, company a reported its earning per share at ten dollar and decided to pay a dividend of two so you can say this is your eps this is your dividend and uh, with the above plowback ratio formula the dividend payout ratio for the above case is going to be the dividend payout ratio is going to be is equal to 2 divided by 10 that's going to be 20 percent so 20 percent is your dividend payout ratio and uh, if you want the plowback ratio then you just need to do 1 minus 1 minus 20 percent which is going to be your 80 percent this means that company a distributed how much 20 percent of its income in the dividend and reinvested rest back in the company that is 80 percent of the money that was being plowed back in the company so this is going 80 percent is going to be a plowback now this plowback ratio indicates how much the profit is is getting reinvested towards the development of the company instead of distributing them as a return to the investors so you can say that you know higher the plowback ratio higher the pbr followed by the fast growing and dynamic business which has which have a belief of supportable economic conditions and persistent high growth periods and the mature business if you considered the mature businesses they generally adopt a lower level of uh, plowback ratio uh, that indicates a sufficient level of the cash holding and the sustainable business growth opportunities. Now, what exactly is the impact of the plowback ratio? See the size of the, you can say if this, the size of the plowback ratio will attract different types of in customers and investors. Now, investors which are income oriented In, uh, would expect basically a lower PBR you can say a lower plowback ratio as basically this suggests the high dividend possibility and uh, to the to the shareholders then there are growth oriented investors will prefer basically you can say high plowback ratio high PBR that basically implying that the business of the firm has profitable internal usage of its earning and which will push up the stock prices. So you can say the stock price will actually increase. Now, when the plowback ratio, if it is close enough to 0%, there is a large possibility that the firm would be unable to maintain the current level of the dividend distribution. Dividend distribution. 
So you can say that all the return, uh, it is distributing all the returns back to its investor. Thus, the sufficient cash is not available to support the capital requirement of the business. Now, one of the one of the key issues with the plowback is that the EPS, the earning per share, do not necessarily match with the cash flow per share. So that the amount of the cash available to be paid out as a dividend does not always match the amount of the earnings. So basically this indicates that the BOD, the board of directors, may not always have the cash available to pay the dividends. Now that's a questionable thing and, and that is indicated by the EPS figures. One should basically note that the choice one should note that the choice of the accounting method uh, can also have an impact on the dividend payout ratio and thus the plowback ratio as well. So for instance, the depreciation dep method followed by the firm can have an overall impact. An SLM method, if you consider it, uh, records more amount of the depreciation as compared to the uh, reducing balance method, which does not have overall impact on the dividend ratios. And, and, and usually low plowback over time can uh, foreshadow a cut in the dividends when the company encounters a need for the cash. Well, let's consider another example, taking a comparison of the two companies with the help of the plowback ratio formula for better understanding. Let's say there's a company A and there's company B. It has uh, some data like this. It has earning per share standing at 3.5 per share and 8.5 per share. They have a dividend paid during the year per share is standing at 3 and 1.5 per share. They belong to a different industry, which is, let's say this is belonging to utilities and the B belongs to tech industry. And the net cash flow, the net cash flow from the investment activity, let's say, this is negative and this one is positive. Uh, let's try and calculate and answer the plowback of uh, the PBR ratio, the plowback uh, ratio of firm A, which is going to be your dividend divided by your earning per share and do control R, make it a percentage form. So we have 86% as the plowback ratio for A and that of B is 18%. So the plowback ratio of company A, let's keep this as positive and negative. The plowback of company A suggests that they have been struggling to and to find any profitable opportunities. Perhaps the firm does not have many opportunities at this very moment because of the 86%. And those will be distributing a reasonable portion, which is your 14% of the earnings as dividend. And this could be a temporary tactic to keep a current lot of shareholders satisfied and enhance the stock price for the immediate future. But when we talk about B, a lower plowback and, and, and negative uh, cash flow highlights that the fact that they have been heavily investing in, in the futuristic projects and perhaps maybe uh, may have retained sufficient earnings for the future opportunities. So this can be two of the reason. Now, this is the example of Apple, which I've taken, you know, this is a practical example to understand the plowback ratio of Apple company, Apple Inc. Uh, we all are using the iPhones and iPad and Mac. So how about to take some real exam real life example over here? We have dividend, which is which is over here from 2012. We have a dividend here, which is from 2012 to 2016. The net income, the dividend payout ratio is here, and the plowback ratio is here. So what we note here that until 2011, Apple didn't pay any dividend. So you can see 2.49. It's just started uh, to its investor, and their plowback ratio was 100 percent because they believed. If, if, if they would have reinvest the earnings, they would be able to generate better returns for the investor, which did, which they did eventually. However, they started reducing the plowback. And uh, as you can see, the plowback ratio is reducing from 2012 onwards. And Apple has been maintaining a retention ratio of in the, in the, in the neighborhood of 70 to 75% in the range in the past four years. So that's it uh, for this particular topic. If you have learned and enjoyed watching this video, please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Thank you, everyone. Cheers.